today I'm going to show you guys how to use a breaker bar. There's two different ways you could use a breaker bar. For this breaker bar, you could usually buy them at any store, any hardware store, for $20 or maybe a little bit more. For the breaker bar, all you need is an extension and a socket for it. After you have that, then you could proceed with the breaker bar. Once you get to the car, for a Lexus or basically a Toyota, they usually have a wheel lock. And the wheel lock is usually in the glove box or in the spare tools. It looks something like this. All of them are usually different. And after you put it on, make sure it's firmly on there. Grab your breaker bar, make sure you put it on a socket, and it's also firm on there, and it doesn't move. Once you have it at this position, the top hand stands on top for stability. The bottom hand is for leverage and to lift up to break the lug off. So once you start raising it up, make sure you go slowly and with momentum. Once it's loosened, use the breaker bar for all the other ones. Or after you have already taken off the rim and did what you need to, either change the tire or put your spare on. The last and most important part is to use a torque wrench. The torque wrench for every vehicle is different torque specs. So make sure you go online and see what the torque specs are for your car. For this Lexus, which is basically a Toyota, it's 80 pounds. So when you put it on, Make sure you go slowly, and when you hear a click, you stop. Do not over torque, otherwise, you could mess up your studs or they could just come really bad. It will be next time really hard to take off. See that click? After that click, make sure you go to the next one and do a start pattern. For this pattern, it's the best to do just because. Uh, both sides are going to be torqued the same amount and will not be at any angles. And you keep going around. And then go a full circle. You're all set to drive again.